Yup, it's El Proto again and today because of the coronavirus thing we are working from home so we do what we can from home so today I want to walk you through this bit hope you get some thing or two about beat making from this bit so let me just play it for now i'll walk you through it so that you get a thing or two so the kick is just steady one thing i did i i increased this out point you can check that out in the video um i will leave in the description of this video makes your kick sound better if it's too long the sample so i took out the out point here and i'll leave the video in the video card let me just remove everything and add them little by little that's the kick So we have a little shaker there thing. Then the snare. I said. So that's it. Um, snare and kick then okay i'll get to this two later so let me add this one so one thing i did was um i came here and i this arrow here i just left click just click and i came to this stamp then I came to um, what is it? Arabian, Arabic, Arabic. Okay, that's it. Arabic. Then just click anywhere. You will see uh, the Arabic, the notes there. So actually, I think I did it on uh, which key now? It was on C, so the scale was on C, and so I just dropped it on the C, and I followed the scale to make this sound here. Sorry, <laughs> this whole thing is coming up, so let me take it to the. F All the notes you can see them here. Yeah, all the notes are on the scale. So all the notes are on the scale. So that was how I got this stuff here. So just kind of an inspiration or something. You can call it something like that. And um, let's check the next one. Um, okay. This one, let's see what's there. Now I did the same thing. Oh, look at it, it's even still here. I just kind of muted them. So. Now I use the same skill, which is this coming here to um come to stamp stamp then i looked for the uh arabic skill arabic yeah then i after hitting it the arabic left clicking i can come to the key i want and i just left click again on the playlist to see the skill 
then I now created this along with the scale. So that's how I got that. And um, what's next? The bass. Same thing. Same thing. It's even, it's, it's even still here. So here we go. Beat making tutorial is going fine. What next? Uh, let me see the chorus too. Okay. So that's what I want to show. So it's just a um, percussion loop that I added here. And so. So this is one percussion loop. This the other. So I just blend them together somehow and both came with this. So in addition to what we already have, the kick, the shaker there, the snare and um, bass and um, keyboard and keys and all the instrument, whatever. This is what we have. Now for us to hear the other one clearly, let me remove this one and this one. Now this is from um, um, the Hammer. Yeah, it's Hammer. And um, I took something from there. And I now created a loop out of it too. So this is how it sounds like. I want us to hear it. That's why I'm putting up the other ones. So I got this from Hammer. That's the sound you're hearing now. Let me bring bring on the percussion. Wow, it's nice. <laughs> so add um, the kick and the, the snare and the shaker. Then that this bell stuff. I still got it from Hammer too. So what is here? Let me see what this is first. Let me see what this is. Okay, it's just um, a wet clap. Yeah, very wet. Just a wet clap that's kind of um, um, spice things up and to make things uh, kind of land and well, kind of something like that. Okay. Now there's something I want to show you, uh, something else I want to show you, the chord. Now, the same thing I did, let me put this one off. The same thing I did, um, on the other ones, that's what I did in the chords too. So that same method of... Um, um, going to this this stamp and going to Arabic then let's say I go to the C here and just click then and I'll build the chords off of the these things okay look at them here so I'll not build the chord of the scale so look at it I take the one the one then the, the I leave if the next one to the other one, I leave the next one to the other one. So I now form a chord. One to the so and I pick the chord from there. And based on the melody start with the E. Let me hear it. Dun, dun. Based on the melody start with the E. Dun, mm. So I started the chord with the E2. And the next chord was the same thing 
Um, the other card was the second note. I jumped the, the next uh, one to the other one. Get it here. Then leave this one out to the next one. C. So that, that's how I just formed the chords. My mind behind it is I leave the next note in the scales and go to the the next one. Something like uh, one, two, three. You all you go something you do something like one, three, five. It's something like I, I don't mean that as in your normal one, two, three notes. I mean in the scale, take the one in the scale, then leave the second note and go to the third. And leave the fourth note and go to the uh, fifth. That's how I build the chords. And if it's the second one, you leave the third one, go to the fourth, and leave the fifth one and go to the sixth and build the chord like that. So, hope you get it. Uh, that's how I build the chords. And I also use my ears. I also use my ears, not just um, theoretical. I also do what sound pleasing to me. So, hope you've gotten a tin or two from this. Um, beat tutorial, let me play the chords for you so that you hear it. Let me play everything so that you hear it. something I did with the snare okay maybe it's not with this one but let me hear it no let me hear it so there's one I did with the chorus um outro no don't mind me I just arrange my patterns in a way okay Look at something I did with the snare here. Maybe you may like it. So, it's the same normal sound of the snare. Then I now went higher and I did this thing on this one here on a higher pitch and if you're not watching this video you won't know that i did it with the same snare sample you can use it in your normal work and uh, use maybe the same sample and you use a higher uh, octave of the same sample to come up with something good so i arrange the stuff into the patterns i just brought the different patterns here and i arranged them in the playlist the patterns directly most people go with the instrument as in maybe um they'll put uh, the kick arrange it snare arrange it but i didn't do it like that i just took the patterns and arranged them so and i did some cool stuff there so like i created the space Space there and we are again. Yeah. So if you like this bit, I'll leave it link in the description of this video. You can check it out if you like it. You can check it out. All right. We are doing something right now. Um, if you have a song that you want us to do a bit for, maybe you you wrote a song chorus and everything and you want us to do, do a beat for the song professional beat no problem hit me up okay i think i should leave our number on the screen okay we'll, our number is on the screen we'll leave it there our number will still be in the description of this video and the system is very nice in the way that anywhere you are you can record the song send it to us all one pro studio at gmail.com and we'll do a beat for it and send you a link um, to check the beat out 
if you like it you just click um, buy and the bit is yours you don't need to be here you don't need to be close you can be anywhere in the world and do that so check out this channel for more great videos on how to make beats on how to grow musically on different um, ways to do different things in music and become a better musician and a pro too it's all one pro studio that's it Morning.